Baby, I'm gonna give you details Show you whole versus retail I get souls for a sweet deal Then let you know how my feet feel Like, tune in for the one time Yes, see Kyrie Fox Air Force, this Air Max is preferably 95 Colorways, crazy, I saw see off his alarm It's all in the detail, you hear it when I describe Keep my Nikes all in line behind my J's If they came down to it, retro was no other way And welcome back to another episode of D Mark Shoe Lockers Red Test and Reviews. And I am your boy, Young D Marks. If you're not dripping, you're not splashing. If you're not splashing, you're definitely not in this league. Hey, we always on the hunt for something dope, comfortable, something to get us through the course of the day. Hey, and today I have a dope pair. You hear what I'm saying? I'm a little late on these. And I think a lot of my shoe videos that I've been putting up recently, I've been laid on, but it's just been how I've been getting them. Like the day of release, I've been missing. But then if I wait a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about how I got this pair. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. So for everybody out there, they know Nike sneakers is what it is. The app is what it is. If you ain't on there, it ain't no one app, one tap. It ain't no if you get there first. The drawings are the drawings and the way that they are work. I don't know. I don't know the the logistics on how it works but what i'm saying is i take a lot way more l's than i do w's but when they do that they always got a little you know back door they gonna open if you on sneakers but this is people that's into the community in the gym shoes like your casual shoe, shoe guy or shoe one like female that, that was into shoes they really probably wouldn't pay attention to these things but people that's really looking for what they want, want to hunt it. Like I said, we hunters over here, so we got to figure out all avenues to figure out how to get our shoes in. Hey, Nike sneakers popped up this Jordan sneakers reserve. And if you tap the, if you tap the link that was in there, it would have opened up and they had three different pairs of shoes from the Cardinal threes, which I have the Marina blues, which I still may want. I don't really need them and I don't really have to have them, but I still want them just because it would be cool to have in my collection. Like just to have them, you know, kick arounds. That's what they would be my every day. They would become from just a normal shoe to every day because they black and blue. I mean, obviously. But right up under them were these. Um, I got a 10. I tried it on. It's definitely, it definitely fits comfortable. Sometimes I can go 10, sometimes I go 10 and a half on my Jordan 1s. But, hey, y'all know what this is. Nike Red Box. And it is these. Boom. Boom. The Brotherhoods. I got a chance to get the Brotherhoods. And as y'all can see, I haven't even laced them. That's why I tell y'all, go follow my TikTok. YHPTVDMarks226. Let me say that to y'all again. YHP, that's the Young Homie Podcast. TV. That's where you're going to be tuned in. D Marks, that is your man's. 226, that is the homies. You see what I'm saying? So become a part of the nation and still rock with the homies. YHP TV, D Marks 226 over on TikTok. Make sure y'all go follow me. Make sure y'all subscribe to the game. Subscribe to the nation. Now, let's get to the shoe. Y'all know what we like to do with this here. Get that box. The fuck out of here. All right. The shoes. Let's start. Now, this is the first time I've seen this shoe in person. My um, my cousin, he hit the day that they dropped. He hit on sneakers, but we had a brief conversation. He just showed me what they look like, and it was just something that always stayed in the back of my mind. If I had a chance to cop for retail, I would. I wouldn't have, like, really a big disopinion in the shoe, and I would probably care a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being opinionated and all that. Like, I would. So, let's get to it. Y'all know it's the basic Jordan 1. Color and block, like, yellow, yellow. Collar to heel, perfect. Yellowing. Yellow heel tag. Now, we want to call this a, a mauve. Mauve. I hope I'm saying that right. It's like a burgundy-ish purple color. You get what I'm saying? It's not purple, but it's not burgundy. It's not. It's like in between. It's like a hot. It's like a super, super light purple, but super Super light burgundy too. Burgundy-ish purple. 
It's like light in both shades. But I want to say it's mild. Let me see what they call it on the box. Give me a second. Hold on. Yeah. They call it light border. So y'all know how to see where we're going with this. They call it a light border. Now, one thing that I did notice, let's get to the shoe. Leather all the way around. This toe box is soft. It's like the three leather. You know, the leather's so soft right there in the middle. It's squishy and dishy and mushy and gushy like it's supposed to be. Um, Y'all know, bottoms, let me show y'all my shit came straight from Nike. I don't do the fakes. I don't play with fakes. I don't buy fakes. I don't support fakes. I'm not gonna buy a fake just to be like, oh, I got it early. Like a lot of you YouTubers out here, but let's get back to it. Um, Logo on the side, that mauve color with the yellow in the, you know, inside of it. Um, mauve, mauve, I hope I'm saying this right. Collaring around the top, sock liner is the same. Um, white mid pattern. Going around, mauve, Nike sign, yellow heel, boom, boom. Toe around is that mauve color. White me is sold with the yellow bottom. As y'all can see, I only tried them on, so I don't think this is the one that I tried on when I got them. I think it's this one. Yeah, well, still look DS. I never, I didn't do nothing but put my foot in. I had to make sure that it fit. I had to make sure I didn't have to go change them over for a 10 and a half. Now, the unique touch, let's talk about it, the tongue. The tongue is not white. When I saw this shoe, a lot of people, I would think that a lot of people saw this tongue being white. This tongue is actually gray. And that is questionable to me. That's why I didn't get what this was going with. Um, but it fits. To me, it still makes the shoe go. It don't really clash in color. I mean, white tongue, gray tongue, whatever the color of the tongue, I don't really think it would have been a problem. I think it could have been yellow just to match, you know, the yellow and yellow. But whatever. The uh, tongue tab at the top, yellow with the, with that mauve color writing. Um, it comes with three laces. It comes with the mob ones, y'all know Jordan ones already laced to the bottom. It comes with a gold pair and it comes with a white pair. This is why you have to follow me on TikTok, YHP DMARCs. No, YHP TV DMARCs 26. This is where I am going to show you guys what I end up doing. They, as, as my TikTok, like one of my biggest videos I got on TikTok right now is me lacing my UNC Jordan ones. And I used all four shoe strings in that shoe. I have white, black, red, and baby blue. So, you know, might do something crazy. Might do the mauve and gold on this one and, and do, you know, white and gold on that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just depends. But I'm going to leave that up to you guys too, man. Y'all down in the comments, let me know what y'all think would be a good color to put on this shoe as far as the shoestrings. Like I said, the tongue is gray. So I think any of these shoestrings would fit perfect with them. Um, I'm going to Union Lace them. Everybody knows if you know me about Jordan 1s, I Union Lace all my Jordan 1s. I think that's just like a unique style of the way that you should wear your Jordan 1s. If they're going to give you a lot of shoestrings, use them shoestrings, bro. And, oh, wait, what am I doing? D-Mark stamp of approval. What am I rating these? I give these a 7. 7.5, seven for real. They could have did a lot more. Could have been a lot bigger. You know, they could have did a lot more of... You know, put some flavor in it. Like, a lot of the Jordan ones are basic blocks. You know, they, they're good. They're they're unique. They're good for the summertime. It's going to be something to be cool to pull out in the middle of the summer when everybody ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, But it could have had a little on there. They could have threw some in there. They could have. And if y'all Nike, if y'all need me, come holla at your boy. I want a pair of Air Max 1s. I want to design my own Air Max 1s. So I want to throw that out there in the atmosphere. I would love to design my own pair of Air Max 1s. Jordan ones are cool, but if I could, I want to design my own Air Max one. And as y'all know, I'm a big Air Max one like lover over here, man. Hey, drop a like if you're Air Max one lover right there. Just drop a like. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you don't, if you like the Brotherhood Jordan ones. Drop another like if you checked out our podcast, man. Tied to the game on YouTube, bro. Me, El Patron, and my dog, Big Juan, bro. We going crazy over there, bro. We started to bring on the guests. We started to let people come and talk their shit. If you want to come be a part, man, you got to go over there first and be a subscriber. Join the nation. Once you join the nation and you get a chance to see what we like, get the like, you will figure out your comfort zone and being able to come on. Either being a, may it be the, a live audience or you actually coming on to the show, linking up with us and we creating. We can create, we can collab, we can do it all. And I'm definitely going up this summer for my shoe channel. I got a lot more stuff I want to do. Uh, the full reviews that's going to be popping up on this channel now. Me and Tron and uh, Big Juan, we're going to take some blows. We're going to go outside. 
we're gonna try some of y'all restaurants, man. It's some restaurants that keep saying that they wanna, you know, get their names out there. So we pulling up, we're gonna make videos, we're gonna help, we're gonna support with the marketing team. But like I said, man, make sure y'all go subscribe to Tie to the Game over there on YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Young Homie Podcast. Make sure y'all hit a like for the Brotherhood Jordan ones if you got them, if you didn't. Drop an L or W if you hit when you went and tried to get yours if you didn't. And then share this to a friend, man. I'm telling you, this is knowledge, man. Everybody in the sneaker community need to support each other. I'm from Detroit, and Detroit don't have that big, huge scene yet, but it's coming. Trust me when I say it's coming. It's people here with some shit in their closet that got to fuck the world up, and we just don't get the light that we deserve. So it's been another one with your boy. I am Young D. Marks, man. These are the Brotherhood Joy Ones, and we out. Get to point and I get off and these LeBron's who they never disappoint.